hi so we've got part two of my seashells nails and this is my sandy nail for you i'm apologize now about the shot of this this was just i was going through it and it's just not yeah sorry about that so all of these nails on this side um this is creme brulee cjp um, and I thought it was just a really good sandy colour. So they're pretty much all the same these ones, apart from on a couple of them. I added a bit of milky pink too because I'm going to texturise the index and the middle finger I think it was on this. And again, this video I used in my um, CJP Big Boy. I mean, that is just the perfect shot, isn't it? For a nail tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So I wanted to try and do sort of a marble on this now, just to add a little bit um, of a different um, colour and texture to the nails. So that's just... Oh no, I can't remember what colour that light one's called. I will check and I'll put it in the description box, sorry. 
I've just um, woke up so I literally don't even know what my name is or anything, so sorry. <laughs> Oh hi, look, realised I'm recording a video. Almost in shot. I'm such a profesh. <laughs> that creme brulee is literally the perfect sandy colour. So, I'm just coming in, swiping it down one side and out, and then I'm going to come in did I pick up two on one? Or did I pick up the light on its own? I can't remember. I think I picked up two. Yeah, I did. So I dipped into the creme brulee and then into that mystery light colour. I'll, I'll put it in the description box. I can't remember what it was. Um, again, just so I've got some different colours running through there. I literally couldn't cope just using one colour. I thought, oh my god, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I'm just going to come and cap in, cap in, I'm just going to come and cap these, so I don't fall too much into that other colour. And you can see exactly what I'm doing. This is so bad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but all the best bit is in shot, all the bit of me putting my bits and pieces on, so... I did something right. <laughs> Sorry. So I've filed these now and just coming in on this index finger because I wanted it textured. So I've just, you can't see because I've tipped the finger down, but all I've done is I've just used my tack free top gloss and I've gone into the creme brulee acrylic colour and I'm just texturising, I'm just pouring it over that nail. Now you have to do this quite a few times because the first bits absorb like really quickly. So just keep doing it until you can't see any top coat anymore and then, um, and then cure. Now whenever I'm doing these texturised nails I tend to cure for a little bit longer than the normal amount of time just to make sure so I did I just did these twice for 60 seconds. So just tap off the excess and before you put them in the lamp and just top coating the rest of them right so on this one I've just gone in with some top coat and I've got the same piece of net that I used yesterday so just cut a little strip off rolled it in my fingers and 
I'm just trying to get it to sit in that top coat, which it didn't want to do. I had to fire with it for a little bit. So when it finally stuck down, I said, put your hand in the lamp slowly. <laughs> so it didn't move. So now that's cured and out, popped on a bead of acrylic and this is just an old silver necklace that I tied a knot in um, because it's the nearest thing I had to any rope. <laughs> we didn't have any tiny rope. So I sat that in the acrylic and then I'm just sitting some pieces around it as well. So I've got those little pearlies, these little mermaidy pearls from um, Dawn. Again, I'll leave all the links. And then these pretty little shells. So it's basically just trial and error when you use these pieces as big as this. You know, you need to, it's a bit like a jigsaw, find the ones that fit. Need a bit of patience. So I'm just holding that on there until that acrylic starts to set. And then just, I just that's what I used uh, some old cuticle nippers just to cut the length of that chain. You see that bit I didn't want to cut. Some of the little gold bits and pieces as well. On to the next one on the texture now. Some more of these cute little shells, which again were from me, but I will leave the links um, down below for you. So these two textured nails, they represented the drier sand you get, obviously the other end of the beach, but because I knew I wanted to um, pop some bits on top of them, I didn't want to do the um, index and pinky nail, I wanted them to really stand out, so I just I switched them round. And I just love them little mermaidy pearls, they just give it a little bit of something extra. So I'm just dropping a bead of acrylic just behind the slightly bigger ones, bigger stones. I'm sure you just heard my children there. Oh, and again, that's them playing Fortnite. Like, I literally hate that game. Seriously. So, sorry about that. And then, if you find towards the end you've got a few little gaps, just pick up a few of your small items, see if they fit or they look okay. You know, you don't have to stick them straight away. So just pick a few bits up and hold them to it and just see what you like. So yeah, under the larger ones, if you drop beads of acrylic just underneath them, make sure they won't come off. So I've gone in with another 
bit of chain drop that into some acrylic and then I'll drop some acrylic over the top of it to make sure it's it's stuck down and then just a little something on top of that just to hide where it's gone on oh look little pearl <laughs> and a little a little gold pretty and I decided I didn't like that big pearl on the side so I just um, I pulled it off and I stuck a smaller one on again just trimming that chain actually wondering if you can get rope that small now I think I'm gonna go on a hunt and see if you can <laughs> see so don't be afraid to move your clients hands don't be afraid just move them where you want them and that's it I think so I'm just coming in with cuticle oil not too close on them textured ones though because you don't want it to all run on top of them These literally have the, the they're just the favourite set of nails I have ever ever done. I'm absolutely in love with them and I want them back. I want them myself. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to me and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and um, I'll see you in my next one. Really really hope you enjoyed. Bye guys!